Now, have you ever drooled over some fantastic street food dish and wondered, how does this amazing street food taste like? Is it any good? Mm, I don't know. Well, how can I really try if I can travel 5,000 miles at this moment? This is a sort of modern torture where you have to watch all those fabulous dishes and you are not able to actually grab it and smash it down. But stop, stop. this is over because we have a solution for you guys. In this series, we'll be showing to you guys quick and easy ways to make street food at home and from affordable ingredients without ruining your finances, yeah? And so your drooling and dreaming will be finally over. Yes, let's move to the first one. So in this first episode of Sweet Food at Home, we'll be trying South American and extremely fragrant choripan hot dogs. Spicy. Yeah. Street food is well known in South America, more precisely in Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, 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 Ecuador and El Salvador, but not everyone is able to buy flight tickets and just go there and taste this colorful wonder. So all we need to do is use our hot dog buns, which we baked in the last video, right there, or there, maybe there. Next, we will grab some chorizo sausage and fix chimichurri and criolla salsas and other delicious stuff. You see? It's really easy. So let's get moving. First, we're gonna make delicious chimichurri salsa. So you just wanna grab your favorite mid-sized bowl and then finally chop two cups or 50 grams of fresh parsley. <laughs> okay, that's more like semi-fine, but I guess it's all right. So just smash it in the bowl. In the next step, finally chop large red or white onion and just throw it to the parsley. Now grab some mild hot chili pepper. You can remove the seeds, but I recommend you not to do it and then just chop it all so nice and fine. Now you wanna add one cloth of minced garlic and then two tablespoons of dry oregano. Now let's move forward with half teaspoon of sea salt, four grinds of black or red pepper and half teaspoon of dried garlic. Now you need to use one cup of extra virgin olive oil here or you can use half cup of olive oil and half cup of vegetable oil. Then just follow with half cup of red wine vinegar. Now this is our chimichurri salsa. You should let it rest in the fridge for 20 minutes. Now let's fix our criolla salsa and you're absolutely gonna love this one. So start with semi-fine chop of two mid-sized tomatoes followed with one red bell pepper and mid-sized red onion. Then two tablespoons of fresh coriander, rough chop is just fine, then just a proper squeeze of half lime or half lemon, followed with two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Don't mix it yet, we have to add a couple more ingredients or just present. Let's continue with one teaspoon of sea salt, six grinds of black or red pepper and one cloth of minced garlic. Now behold, because this beauty is our criolla salsa. Now it's really beautiful and smells amazing. So again guys, 20 minutes rest in the fridge should be just enough. Now this one is not typical for cherry pan, it's sort of a little twisty. Here. Start with 5 ounce or 150 grams of low fat sour cream, followed with juice from half lime or lemon, and again 2 tablespoons of fresh, roughly chopped coriander, and then just 3 grinds of salt and 3 grinds of black pepper. But this is really optional, guys. Again, it's not traditional, but it's really delicious. It goes just really well together. Alright, guys, so now we are ready to build our hot dogs. Just don't forget some chili flakes, smoky salt, and some fresh coriander for final serving. Grab your most favorite pan and give it a nice warm hug. Just completely melt 1 teaspoon of European style butter over low mid heat and grab your buns. If you don't want to give him a toast, just skip this step, but it will be beautiful, fragrant and crispy, so why would you ever want to skip it, right? Then half up your chorizo sausage and start searing it over mid heat. Just be careful and don't burn it. Just a nice golden brown sear. Then cut a little V shape from the top of your buns and use your fingers to create space in the middle. And that's where we will start filling our hot dogs. Maybe just push the walls from the inside using your fingers again so you can stuff it more. So at this point we are just about to finish it, okay? Yeah, smells wonderful, guys. So this is it. We just finished our amazing choripan hot dogs. Look at that. Guess what? We're gonna taste. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Mm. Best hot dog ever. It's spicy. Then you get the sourness from the salsa and from the yogurt. Mm. The smoky salt, the chili flakes, and the bun, guys. The buttery bun. I can almost feel the potatoes in it. Okay, so these were the choripan hot dogs. So we gotta see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Ciao.